So let's compare the operating system between the JK the, out of the uh, older Jeeps to the Wrangler JL and the Gladiator from the newer Jeeps. On your, on your right will be the, the JL and JT. On your left is the, is the old JK. First, let's talk about the clutch arm. On the JK, they've had the same arm for 35 years. It goes all the way back to uh, through the YJs, uh, the four liter YJs. And uh, you can see it's, it's shorter than the newer ones. Let's talk about the hydraulics for a minute. On the hydraulic, on the master cylinders, you can see they're, uh, they look basically al almost identical. And in fact, they, they mount up the same. However, the JK is a, it's a, has a three quarter inch bore and the uh, JL has a five eighths bore. So this is gonna move less fluid and uh, pump less fluid down to the to the slave cylinder so it's going to move the slave cylinder a shorter distance however they also have a smaller uh, slave cylinder size as well on the jk it's a 7 8 and it's three quarter on the jl so um, some have said that it's a shorter cylinder on the newer ones it's really not and not not a significant change in length what they've done is they move the flange back so you can kind of see if you see where the cylinder ends here, it's way back from the flange. This cylinder ends on the other side of the flange. So what they, what they really did is they moved the flange, you know, probably, I don't know, it looks like about an inch and a half. So, um, but if you do the math and, and compare the area of the, of the master cylinder, slave cylinders, and do the math, it's, it shows about a 6% change. Um, and the 6% is that the, the newer Jeep is going to uh, move the, the arm 6% less than the, than the JK. So uh, it's, not a, a, it's not a big change, but it, but it is significant enough where, where uh, yeah, you, have to, you have to be aware of it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the basics on, on these components, but um, let's talk about the pedal assembly for a minute. I forgot about that. So on the pedal assembly of the JK, it has a simple return spring and that lifts the pedal allowing the port to open up to the reservoir to allow the clutch to self-adjust for wear. But on the, on the JL and the Gladiator, they went to a helper spring, an over-center spring. And what that does is instead of it just hooking on and pulling, it, uh, it's a compression spring that when, when it's installed, it, will, uh, it pushes the pedal back, or the, yeah, pushes the pedal back the cylinder. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it pushes it back, allows it to self-adjust. And then as you, as you push the pedal down, somewhere around a quarter of the way, it starts helping you push the pedal down. It, it compresses and then it's, it's extending. So it, it uh, assists in the, in the pedal effort, which is great on a, on a real high horsepower car that you know, has a big stiff clutch or something, but uh, uh, that's not the case here. But anyway, I wanted to point that out. I'll probably have some pictures uh, showing the, the difference in the pedal assembly. Uh, thanks for watching.